Um, as John said, I've been here on sabbatical um, for just over three months now, and I'm having the most fabulous time. Um, I still have a month to go. Um, and I do have to come clean. I'm a basic lab person. Um, so that's, in fact, you know, I was literally running PCRs before I came here. Um, so, but what I'm going to cover today is just some of the general aspects of the HIV epidemic in South Africa, because I thought that probably would be more appropriate for, for this audience. Um, but just to say that that's not my expertise. Um, I mean, I have a pretty good general feel of things, but um, if I don't know some of the specifics, I hope you'll forgive me. So, um, uh, my title slide uh, also just uh, shows you all the people that fund us, which is really a crucial part of being able to do to, to, to do anything. In fact, sorry, the one logo that I don't have on here, it's on my final slide, is the Fogarty International Center, the ATERP, because they, in fact, um, are funding my sabbatical here. I'm, I'm actually a Fogarty student, <laughs> so, um, so I really do want to acknowledge them. They've been, they've been fabulous. Um, so just to give you a bit of an outline of the talk, um, I'm going to, as I mentioned, tell you a little bit about the, the HIV and a bit about the TB um, epidemic in South Africa. And I'm really relying heavily on an article that some of you may have seen published uh, in The Lancet uh, just last month um, by uh, Professor Salim Abdul Karim and some of his collaborators. And I've, I've actually uh, got the, the slides from, from that presentation. Um, and then I want to talk specifically about vaccines um, and give you a bit of an update on what's happening in the HIV vaccine field and why it's really so important that we continue in our efforts to make a vaccine. And then some about our own research uh, to contribute towards uh, some understanding some of the early events in, um, in HIV infection through our work with the Caprisa Acute Infection Cohort. Uh, and then on my specific focus is on neutralizing antibodies to HIV. So these are antibodies that work, um, that are functional antibodies and actually block virus from getting into cells. So um, this is actually where I got the, the idea for the hot zone because I'm sure all of you have seen this figure before. Um, this is the world map showing the prevalence of HIV um, and it's color coded. So those areas that are in this deep red are where 15 to, um, or more than 15% of adults are HIV positive. And as you can see, that's very much centered down here in Southern Africa. Um, and. Uh, the, uh, and, and it's graded uh, accordingly. So certainly South Africa is at the center of this, of this epidemic uh, together with its surrounding, um, surrounding countries. Um, so this is, uh, the, the, this is the, the title slide of the, um, the Lancet article that uh, appeared, uh, as I said, in August uh, by, by, by Slim and co-authors. Um, and, and really, it was a whole series of articles, actually, um, talking about the healthcare system in South Africa. And I'm just going to focus on, um, on the HIV uh, and TB aspects. So um, there's no doubt that HIV and TB represent um, one of the greatest challenges facing South Africa right now. Um, so for example, in, uh, in uh, the, the, the um, well, in, in two, in 2007, uh, sorry, only 1% of the, um, uh, we, South Africa only has less, we have less than 1% of the global, of the, the total population, the global population, but yet 17% uh, of HIV, uh, of the global HIV infections uh, are in South Africa. So there's a huge disparity, uh, well, there's a huge concentration of, of HIV infected people in, in South Africa. And they also in, have one of the worst, we also have one of the worst TB epidemics. And of course, these two go together. So in fact, that, that's compounded. And while there have been definitely some notable achievements, um, uh, certainly in terms of access to condoms, um, uh, expansion of TB control efforts, that, and also scale up of, of antiretroviral therapy. South Africa has the largest antiretroviral therapy in the world. There's certainly still a lot, a lot to be done um, in South Africa. But certainly the healthcare system is completely dominated by the HIV and TB uh, epidemics. Um, and we, we certainly need um, decisive action and also um, to use existing um, interventions and prevention tools uh, to, and bring those to bear. And, you know, part of the reason that uh, South Africa is, is in the crisis that it's in um, is because of the political, the lack of political leadership that we've had in South Africa um, during the Mbeki era. Um, and I'm very pleased to say now that that, that appears to be over and our new Minister of Health um, appears to be tackling the, uh, the, these epidemics uh, in the right way. So hopefully that is something of the past. 
Um, but just to review the, um, the, the HIV epidemic in South Africa from when the, the Department of Health started doing seroprevalence surveys back in 1991, um, on pregnant women attending public hospitals in South Africa. And it's really, I mean, it's been the best measure of, of, the, of the, the increase in the epidemic over the years. But it comes with all the caveats that these are pregnant women and they're not representative of the whole population. We also, South Africa also does what's called a household survey. And the, this is, there've been three of those, they're done every three years. And certainly the trends are very similar. Um, and uh, so, and we, so these data are for the most part pretty reliable. Um, but, but really the most startling thing, of course, is, um, is the increase from uh, 1% in 1991. Sorry, I'm battling a bit with this. In 1991, um, and, and the steady increase where there was a real, where there was a rapid spread of HIV, um, and then uh, we're now entering into the AIDS mortality phase. So, you know, the, 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 it's, it's leveled out at about 30%. So that's 30% of pregnant women um, nationally in South Africa are HIV infected, and that's nothing short of a, of a, of a, a serious crisis. Um, and in fact, uh, one of the things that characterizes the HIV epidemic in South Africa is the gender disparity. Um, so these, these are data, in fact, both from 1992 and more recently uh, in 2005, showing the infections in men and women. And you can see that the red line is, is well ahead of the curve of, of the blue line. So yet women are getting infected at a much earlier age than men. Um, and the other thing to just notice here is the scale. So the scale in 92 uh, versus 2005 is, is vastly different. Um, so, so really it's, it, it affects women at a younger age and it affects women disproportionately. Um, so this is a slide that Slim put together, which I thought was quite nice because it really tracks both the HIV and the TB epidemics. And so I'm not going to go through all of this, but um, but really just showing how um, TB almost appeared to be, or it was kind of under control, and then it's really just also escalated with the um, with the HIV epidemic.